Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I've got a chunk of walnut that I think is going to be perfect for this hand plane. The first thing I'm going to do is flatten one face and then square up one edge of the joiner. Then I'll take it over to the table saw and cut it to rough width. This last and final cut the table saw will give me the height of the hand plane. At the bandsaw, I need to carefully cut off both sides of this block so that the center block is slightly thicker than the width of the iron. After cutting this into three pieces at the bandsaw, I took these parts over to the joiner and I lightly face jointed each mating surface. On the center block, I drew two lines, one at 45 degrees for the bed angle for the blade and another at 62. The 45 degree cut that we made needs to be perfectly flat because that's where the plain iron is going to rest against. So I'm going to use my block plane, which has a low angle, and I'm just going to take light passes until I get this nice and flat. On the angle block that I cut that supports the blade iron, I need to make a slot to receive the screw which holds the chip breaker onto the iron. We'll do that next. I have half of the plane clamped to my bench, and this is the part that we just slotted at the mortiser, which is going to hold the plane iron. Now, when the plane iron is inserted into that slot that we just created, it needs to be lowered so that it makes contact with the other half of the plane about a sixteenth of an inch from the bottom. And once I have that located, I'm going to make a mark on the back part of the plane with a pencil. On the back of the plane, I made a mark an inch and a quarter up and seven sixteenths of an inch over from the plane iron, and this is going to be for the cross pin. Now it's time to glue this plain sandwich together. And to do that, I'm gonna use my granite surface plate to help me keep everything nice and flat. And if you get glue on it, don't worry, it'll wipe right off when you're done. Now I need to make the hole for the cross bend, and I'm gonna use that hole that we made earlier as a starting point. At the joint, I'm gonna flatten the bottom of the plane, and at the same time, I'm gonna open up the mouth. And I'm going to open it up so that when the blade is inserted, the blade comes to about a 32nd of an inch from the bottom. I made a temporary wedge and inserted it into the hand plane so that I can flatten the bottom of the hand plane with a tension. At the joiner, I got the opening of the hand plane, so when the blade is inserted, it comes to about a 32nd of an inch from the bottom. Now I'm going to open this up a little bit more using a file so that when the blade is inserted, there's uh, just enough room for a shaving to come through. So now that all the tricky stuff is over with with this hand plane build, it's time to work on what I think is going to be the funnest part of this whole build, and that's shaping it out to make it look more pleasing and more comfortable to hold. So I went and made a curve onto the back of the hand plane and onto the front, and I'm just going to cut it out of the bandsaw. Cut out a wedge at the bandsaw. Now I'm just going to shape it a little bit at the belt sander. I used some spray adhesive and I attached a piece of 220 grit sandpaper to my granite surface plate. Now I'm just going to remove any mill marks on the bottom of the hand plane. I finished the plane with a couple coats of paste wax with the exception of the inside of the plane and the wedge. In order to sink the iron and get it to extend out of the bottom of the plane, just give the back of the iron a few wraps with a mallet. And if you went too far or you just need to drive the iron back up, take a wooden mallet and give the butt of the plane a few wraps and it'll drive the iron back into the body of the plane.
Well, as evidenced by these shavings, I've definitely been having some fun with my new hand plane. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Is it perfect? No. I uh, put the blade on the wrong side of the hand plane. It was supposed to go on the 45 degree side instead of the 62 degree side. Oops. Still works surprisingly well, and I definitely will be making another one, and next time I'll put it on the 45 degree side. So that's it. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.